I said, let he who has no sin cast the first stone. Why y'all all throwing rocks at your screen? Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you need from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, we're going to be doing the Sin City effect using Power Director. Now, if you love Sin City or uh, Pleasantville or any movie that has like the monochrome with the color mixed in, making it look all fancy schmancy, then I want you to do me a favor. Leave hashtag Sin City Love in the comments section below to show your love for this effect. All right, people, it's time to make some magic. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the Sin City effect. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. The Sin City effect lets you change everything in your video or image, black and white, with the exception of one color that you select. So, if there's something blue in the shot and you want it to stand out while everything else is black and white, this is the effect for you. As you can see, I have a clip on the timeline. It's a lovely hummingbird stealing sugar water from a bird feeder. I want the bird feeder to stand out and I want everything else to be black and white. I'm going to show you two ways to get this done. The second way has an extra special trick. So make sure you watch this video until the end to see that trick. The first way to do this is with the color filter effect. So I'm going to go to the effects room. I'm going to go down to style. And I'm going to select filter color. Now, you can actually place this on the clip or you can place it on the effects track. Since I want it to last the entire clip, I'm going to left click, hold down my mouse and drag this onto the actual clip. So now I'm going to click on effect. And up here, I'm going to click on focus color. This is going to allow me to select the color that I want to focus on. So since I want the red to stand out, I'm going to bring this eyedropper tool over to the red and I'm going to click on the red. And you can see down at the bottom that it says right now it's selecting green and it's going to select red if I click on where I have the eyedropper. So I'm going to click on it. Now that's done, so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. So now you can already see that everything else has changed to black and white, except for things that have red in them. Now, if I want to, I can actually change the color range. And if I move this slider down towards zero, it's going to start to bring all of the colors back into the image. And if I move this higher, it's going to create a mix of the original colors with black and white until I get up to a point where it starts to change even the red that I selected and starts to remove some of that, as you can see. So I'm going to move this back to 150 and hit enter. And this is the way that I like it. So if I click on play here, you'll see everything's black and white except for the red. So since I'm done with that, I'm going to close this out. And I can also scrub my timeline. You'll see that it has been applied to the clip. So the Sin City effect is in the building. 
So the second way to do this is using color director. So you can either select the clip and then go to tools, color director, or you can select the clip and go to fix enhance. And then select color director. So I'm going to click on this. And now that color director is open, we want to make sure that we're on the adjustment tab and make sure that we're in the manual section or the manual tab under adjustments. And we want to go down to the global adjustment tools. And so you want to scroll down until you find an option that is called color splash. So under the color splash option, you want to click on the eyedropper and it just gives you a, a message here telling you that any adjustments will be temporarily hidden. You can click on okay. You can click on don't show again if you want. And now you place your eyedropper over the item that you want to go ahead and focus on. So I'm going to left click on the bird feeder. And now we have once again changed everything to black and white except for the things that are red in the video. So we have some options over here on the left and the first one is tolerance. So for tolerance, if you go down to zero, you're going to change everything to black and white, even the color that you selected. And if you go further up, you're going to change it back to the original color of the video. So I'm going to change this back to 20. And now it's time for the special trick that I told you about, and it is the hue shift. So if I want this bird feeder to be a different color, I can use hue shift to get that done. So if I start to use the hue shift slider and slide it over to the right, you'll see that now I'm changing the color to orange. Oh, I can change it to green or a aqua teal type color. Change it to blue, purple, or even right on back to pink and red again. So that is cool because you get to actually change the color. I'm going to change mine to blue. And so like I could actually, if I wanted to use two videos and like have the original next to this one and fade from the original to this one with changing the color from red to blue. If I wanted to, that'd be a cool little effect. So now that I'm done, I can go ahead and click on back. And as you can see, it went ahead and added a preset or C lut, whatever you want to call it, but it added the preset to it so that I have the change of the color. If I remove this little check box here, it's going to go back to the original. If I select it again, it'll apply the color changes for the color splash that I did using color director. So I can go ahead and close this out. And if I play this, booyaka, booyaka. And there you go, people. How to make the Sin City effect in Power Director 17. If you decide that you like Power Director 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Those are affiliate links. So if you use them, I'll get a small commission, which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use Power Director. You'll pay the same price as if you went to the site on your own. So if you want to help me help you, Use the affiliate link. All right, Power Director peeps. I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Badgertronics. 
Badgertronics makes automotive project and repair videos over on their YouTube channel. So if you're into cars, if you're into fixing them yourself, and you're into finding out how the best way to do things with your mechanical inclinations that you might have, head all over to his channel, check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you're a subscriber to Power Director University and you have a tutorial request, head on over to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video was good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you click the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. That way, you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.